All right. This one's going to be a, a lot quicker, a lot simpler than my usual league start build videos. Uh, because this league, I'm not really like doing anything new or crazy or honestly particularly interesting for league start. Uh, I am just rolling up an Archmage Hierophant. With uh, I'm going to try the new the new setup that people have been doing thanks to uh, Poe Dan Uber Dan Ball Lightning of Orbiting. Uh, I didn't play Archmage last league at all. Uh, none of the well, I guess it was mostly just the Ice Nova build that popped off. But I didn't care for the Ice Nova build when I watched it. Mostly just the visual clutter was a huge turnoff for me. Ball Lightning is a, a weaker skill in terms of raw DPS, but the visuals are a lot nicer, and I think the gameplay is a bit smoother as well. But um, none of that's particularly important. And this POB, I have like a slightly... I mean, I put it together myself, but it's mostly based off like Archmage stuff that's been done last league and like maybe a little bit of tweaks, like getting an extra endurance charge, which might be good because of the buffs to those. Whatever. POB will be linked. You can go look at it. I have a... Uh, not like min-max, but like decent investment end game. So like, you know, like an Unnatural Instinct's going to be pretty expensive. Most of the other stuff's probably not too bad. Um, but I have that, and then I do have a second passive tree in here, which is like the early end game when you get to maps, and probably like from when you first enter maps to when you're low to mid 90s, probably. And it's probably, probably like mid 90s. It'll look more like this. The biggest thing is it's swapping where you're getting your suppression from, because you're probably not going to be capped suppression for a while on a build like this. So getting a suppression wheel for the lucky suppressed mastery is really good. Um, but yeah, the reason that I am doing an Archmage build, I kind of just decided I wasn't particularly invested in what my first build of the league is going to be, my league starter. Don't really care that much. Because for me, uh, I think the interesting thing for making a lot of builds this league is going to be the weapon enchants that they've teased a bit from the league mechanic. And I am not going to plan a starter build around any of those because we don't even know what most of them are yet. And even if they get data mined like tonight, um, we won't know how rare they're going to be. And it's just, it'd be too much of a risk to like plan around any of those super rare ones. But those are the builds I'm interested in. So my league starter build, I don't care as much about. I'm just, I'm just going with something that's tried and true and it'll get me through to end game quickly. And it'll get more importantly, the uh, league mechanic progression Hopefully done very quickly so I can start getting the, like, higher rewards and whatever it may be from that. And so, like, the good options for that are, you know, Archmage here if it's going to be really good. A lot of melee stuff, slams on, like, the Slayer, Berserker, whatever. Those will be good. I, d I just want the Archmage one. Um, one other reason, again, back to the enchants, the weapon enchants. Archmage dual wields rare weapons. Like, that's just generally what people do with it. And we'll see how the enchants are balanced. Maybe the two-handed ones will just be way better. But I think considering how rare it is for builds to dual-wield rare weapons, I have a feeling that having uh, two rare weapons on, that you can enchant both of them, is uh, going to also be really good. So that's another point added onto this for me. And, I mean, that, that really about covers it. The only other thing is, like, I saw the gameplay of the Ball Lightning of Orbiting. I said, hey, that skill looks fun. I'm gonna try it out. Yeah. Pretty basic league starter, and then hopefully I will be able to uh quickly speed run and farm and plan out a build or two or three or four or whatever. Uh with the cool new league weapon and chance that will I think be a lot more build enabling and build defining than anything we're gonna do with the league start stuff. I mean that's kind of it. As far as like my early leveling for the people that care about like campaign stuff, what it seems to be the meta of that people have been doing with Archmage Hierophants is they level with Firestorm, and it's like Firestorm, and then you eventually link it's like Unleash. You don't go Archmage, I think, until like Merso's Lab, and by that point with this, you would be pivoting away from Firestorm. But that's what people have been doing. I'm almost positive you could also just level with just traditional Archmage or Armageddon brand cremation. Like the just kind of standard caster setup that we've been doing for a while. But either way, um, yeah, that's, that's about all I got. Just doing a nice, easy cookie cutter starter so that I can hopefully get to more interesting builds. More interesting to me builds.
quicker. And uh, that's, that's about it. Thanks for watching. See you.